What is up guys, my name is Daryl, and today we're gonna to be looking at Elementor's new feature release of blend modes. Now what blend modes allows you to do is basically add in some really nice features and decor over your existing images on your overlay. So the best way for me to describe this is just to give you an example, because there are so many different ways that you can use this. In fact, Elementor did release a video on different ways on how you can apply these to your current Elementor website. So for example, we have this website right here. And I have this image, but I kind of want to add some, I want to add more, and I want to make it look a little bit more creative. It's kind of bland, it's, it's very gray, and I'm kind of saying, you know, I want to add something a little bit more. So over here under the background overlay right here under the blend mode, I'm going to go ahead and insert a image first. So I want this image to kind of overlap my current image. So right here, I'm going to click on image, and I'm going to go ahead and select something. We'll go ahead and select, we'll go ahead and select this right here. So I'll select these letters right here. Now we have this image right here. Now we want to apply this to our overlay. So right here under the opacity, I'm going to go ahead and increase it. Now, right now you can see that we have these letters right here. And this is one of the blend modes. So right here we're on normal and maybe you want to as multiply. Now I bet you're thinking to yourself, that doesn't look that good right there. But what we can do is we can actually reduce the opacity right there to kind of give it this more elegant feel style look. So now you can kind of see that we have the image right there, but we actually have a little bit of an overlay with our second image. And of course, there's there's tons of um, there's tons of these things. So there's there's a saturation, there's luminosity, there's color, there's light and there's darken. And really, what it takes is just kind of you messing around with these settings to get you familiar with it. Now, right now, I'm editing this current section, but again, you can edit m images, you can edit other rows or you know other layers. So right here, I'm applying it to this entire background right here, and I think this looks good right here. Maybe the first one, I think uh, it it actually yeah, there you go. We'll we'll do this and. We'll apply it to kind of give it that like kind of like you know it's it's creative and it's kind of exotic but it looks really nice you know just just that uh, uh, layer does so let's go ahead and scroll down right here and we have a second area right here now there's also gradient features you can add different gradient features you can add virtually anything you can possibly think of with this mode so over here under the style I'm going to go to our overlay right here and I'm going to go ahead and add in an image right here now I kind of want that that matrix style design. So I'm just giving you different designs and ideas. Remember, there's there's unlimited amount of designs. In fact, I'll just use this one right here just to kind of just to give you an example of what I'm talking about. So right here, you can see I added a secondary overlay right here behind this. You can see the mountains are starting to affect. And right now, if I increase the opacity right there, you, you can kind of see it appear or reappear. And of course, you can go ahead and change the blend mode to like DAW or color DAW, saturation, uh, color overlay, etc. So this is just a, a quick example of what you can do and how you can apply it to your website. But I want to apply that matrix thing I was talking about, you know, with the little letters. So over here, I'm going to grab this image right here and I'm just going to insert it. Now over here, I'm going to go to multiply and increase the opacity. Or maybe it's maybe it's normal. There you go. So right here, now you can kind of see how we have all these little letters in the background. And the great thing is that with this effect right here, usually you'd have all the images and it would basically block your background. But now you can kind of have like this this little this design we have going on right here where it's 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 a bunch of little letters. And, you know, it kind of reminds me of Chanel when I look at this. So uh, just by kind of messing around with these settings, you can kind of increase it or you can kind of decrease it depending on what kind of a style you, you want to apply for your website. Now let's go ahead and scroll down. And again, right here, I have the same image. So you basically know uh, what to do by now. Also right here, we can kind of go ahead and you know take a look at this. Maybe you want to mess around with this. So the whole point of this video was just to kind of introduce you to this feature that they released. I thought it was an amazing feature. Um, Divi already has this feature as well. So it looks like Elementor and Divi, the feature war is on. They are going at it. So Elementor just released this, and I think it is a great feature, and you can virtually apply it to every single one of your websites. So go ahead and check out this new feature. It is available on Elementor Pro. If you don't have Pro yet, you can go ahead and download it in the description below. Until then, I will see you all in the next video.